And how much does somebody working in the art side of gaming make as a starting pay? Not much. <laughs> art is lower side. Art yeah, is lower side. Lowest. Yeah. And you also mentioned Joseph and Nitish actually that AI may, might make this entire section Disrupt. redundant very fast. It yeah. might be. Yeah. Okay. okay, that was really uh, an interesting take. I kind of uh, agree with that. Let me explain why. So the clip that you just saw uh, is from the podcast called WTF by uh, Nikhil Khamat. He's the co-founder of Zero The and it's one of the trending and famous podcasts nowadays, just in case you don't know. Okay, hear me out. If you are someone who's just getting started or just out of the college or as a fresher, I would suggest don't identify yourself as just a 3D artist. Because the kind of direction that the artificial intelligence is heading towards, someday or the other day, you're going to get replaced. Now, uh, I can already sense a lot of people coming at me and saying, Sai, the AI is not at the stage where uh, it can create 3D models for where you can use it for production-ready applications or games. Yes, I agree with that. But at this point, you can already use it for prototyping, brainstorming. Uh, you can use it for uh, creating generic props, which you can use in the applications, end up using the applications, uh, maybe uh, level design, all that stuff. So most of the work is going to be get automated in that part. And by the way, uh, wait until the end of this video, I will be explaining you how do you navigate around this situation. And uh, one more argument I hear around this topic is, uh, I have so much of experience, AI yeah, cannot really uh, replicate my thing. Sure, of course, AI uh, yeah, is not equal to human beings. If you are the top 10, 15, 20, 30 person, maybe uh, you should not bother about this. But then I'm talking about the rest of the 70 to 80 percent, especially uh, freshers. Uh, because there are already tools like Meshi.ai and Luma, which can create good 3D models sort of, uh, you know, prompting a text. In fact, Meshi.ai provides a Unity plugin, which you can import into Unity. And for example, let's say you have a sofa mesh in the living room. You can select that mesh. You can give the prompt for the texture. It will create the texture, it will assign it to the material and it will end up assigning that material to the mesh. It's really cool. You should definitely uh, check that out. Okay. So what's the solution for this? I would say, especially if you're a fresher, uh, if you're starting out to learn to learning tools, I would say learn it holistically. What do I mean by that? Don't say I'm a 3D artist. I'm not. I'm gonna only learn Blender, Max, Maya. I'm not gonna get into uh, game engines and all that. That's not the right approach because even if you're even if you're a fresher or just out of the college, the companies expect you to have some some bit of knowledge in terms of game engines. When you communicate with the developers, they expect you to have some expertise around that. How can you export? How can you assign materials? How can you do some basic animations? How can you take builds? That is this much is required. Uh, I, would, I would, in fact, uh, I will go a step further and say maybe if possible, learn a bit of coding. I know it's it's a lot to take, but, uh, but trust me, it's not as difficult as it sounds. Because I am from mechanical engineering and I have been here in this space, XR space for more than seven years. If I can do it, you can also do it. So if you want a roadmap or checklist kind of a thing uh, to get started into the XR development side of it, I have uh, made a video on my YouTube channel called The AR VR Guy titled World's Shortest AR VR Course. You can go through that. It will give you a fair idea of what are the tools that you need to learn, what are the SDKs that you need to learn, what are the resources that you have from where you can learn those tools. And that brings to the end of this video. If you have liked this video, if you think I have added little much of value to you, like this video and share it with all the friends who's, who are in the 3D space and also with the friends who are getting started and they're trying to get into, break into gaming or AR, VR industry. Bye-bye.